I am very pleased you joined us, Warden Blackwell. The honor is mine, Lady Seeker. We need strong, righteous warriors. Now more than ever. Righteous? I praise Cassandra. Many Wardens have hardly lived righteous lives. True. Yet you give yourself to an order that would die to protect others. It is never too late to do better and become more than what you are. That is the hope. You joined the Seekers when you were young, did you not? I wanted to join the Templars, but was given to the Seekers. So you knew what you wanted, even if you didn't get it. I wanted vengeance at first, but I discovered a deeper joy in duty. That's good. Some of us take much longer to find our place. And some never find it. We are both lucky. And how did you join the water? It's the usual story. There is no such thing as a usual story. A tavern, a chance meeting, a senior warden who saw worth in a worthless man. I'm not alone. There is more to this. You just don't want to tell it. No, you don't want to hear it. The other day, did I see you punch a tree? What did it ever do to you? Plenty. I see. <sighs> I suffered from hay fever when I was small. My brother joked I should punch a tree in retaliation. So I did, and the sneezing stopped. I've done it ever since. The direct approach. I like it. You had a brother? I did. I still miss him sometimes. I had a sister, a younger sister. She died when I was very little. I'm sorry. I often think about what she'd be like now, had she lived. Much like her brother, I would expect. Make her I wouldn't wish that on her. All this hair. So, you were the right hand of the Divine, and Leliana the left? Yes. And if you joke about the right hand not knowing what the left is doing, I will punch you. Me? No, I would never make such a terrible joke. Is it true that Leliana knows everything about everyone? Only the Maker knows everything about everyone. But it doesn't hurt if people believe it of Liliana. You encourage it? It keeps people honest. Besides, if there is anything to learn, Liliana will learn it. I've seen her work. Right. Good to know. I cannot place your fighting style. And I have studied the martial arts for years. It's... from everywhere. I traveled a lot in my youth. Could you be a little more gentle the next time we spar, Cassandra? Why? You can take it? Yes, but I'd rather not. <laughs> I did not realize you were made of glass. Bruised glass, thank you. That whetstone you lent me, it produces a remarkable edge. Celestine Black, they call it. It's the only stone I'll use on my blades. You know what? Keep it. I'll find another. Thank you. That's very kind. I notice you seem to focus yourself before battle, Cassandra. I still my mind and focus my thoughts on the Maker. I ask for his guidance. I ask to be reforged into an instrument of his will. What about you? How do you center yourself? I tell myself... It's them or you, and if it's you, be damn sure to take the bastards with you. Well, that's... Crude, yes, but it works. They say your family almost drove the dragons to extinction. A shame. Majestic beasts. Majestic? Say that after you see a pile of dragon shit bigger than your house. How do you stand the Skyhold stables? They're quiet. I like having time to myself. I can't imagine finding quiet time in that stench. They're only horses. They're not horses. They're dumb monsters with hooves and tails. Alistair speaks highly of you, Black. He does? We just met. You knew his mentor, Duncan. Right. What was he like? Well, 
Alistair's a good man. He helped end the blight. And Duncan's the sort even he would look up to. I understand Logan is not highly regarded in Ferelden, despite his efforts against the Blight. Traitor is not an easy title to escape. He doesn't deny the claims, but I'm not certain he accepts them either. I wasn't there, Cassandra. Forgive me. He is your comrade. That was insensitive. Stroud shares your reserve nature, Blackwood. It must be a common trait among wardens. You find me reserved? At times. I was aiming for aloof. <laughs> Keep trying. I'm certain you'll get there. I should ask Mother Giselle to hold a service for Stroud. The Inquisition must honor his sacrifice. Would you join us, Blackwell? One of his own should attempt. You knew him as well as I did, Cassandra. But I will pay my respects. I'm sorry about your apprentice. Daniel had raw skill. Everyone could see it. <laughs> he knew it himself. Quite a handful, then. You would think so, but no. He was attentive, to the point of irritation at times. He was under the impression I had something to teach him. Sounds like a fine young man. He was. Love suits you, Cassandra. What are you talking about? You seem to be smiling a great deal more than usual. Or am I mistaken? Evidently. And the sidelong glances at the Inquisitor? You're seeing things. The humming? I do not hum. Then apparently I should better protect my head. Cassandra. Seeker Cassandra, if you must address me. Seeker Cassandra. But I would rather you not address me at all. What happened to, it's never too late to become more than what you are? A man who truly aspired to be righteous would not lie. He would earn respect, not steal the respect due another. So... What is it? Nothing. Just enjoying the comfortable silence. I see the Inquisitor kept you around. I would not have were it up to me. Such spite is beneath you, Cassandra. Is it? What do you know of me? Even less than we know of you. I, I wasn't... You have no right to determine what is beneath me. Not now, not ever. As you wish, Seeker. I miss our sparring matches, Cassa... Seeker, Cassandra. You were a worthy opponent. I have other duties. Why not ask Iron Bull? He's always willing to hit something. I don't much fancy a concussion. I should ask Mother Giselle to hold a service for Stroud. The Inquisition must honor his sacrifice. You should attend, Blackwall. Why do you want me there? You pretended to be a warden long enough. You should pay respect to one who actually served. You had a brother? Yes. Not that it concerns you. I had a sister. A younger sister. She died when I was very little. Is that a true fact, or another fabrication? I have no more reason to lie, Cassandra. I often wonder what she'd be like now, had she lived. If you even think about saying she'd be like me, I will hit you. Hitting is better than quiet rage. <laughs> I'm sorry about your apprentice. Former apprentice. Daniel completed his training with me years ago. It must be difficult to... What makes you think I would welcome your pity? I don't. And I didn't know him. But it seems we lost a good seeker. I... You are right. He was a good man. Thank you. What is the matter with you? You mean me? You're favoring your right arm. It's just a slight sprain. Should be fine by tomorrow. I appreciate your concern. You are still a part of the Inquisition, and you continue without complaint. So 
So long as you serve, I would not see you injured. Thank you, Seeker Cassandra.